Scorpio, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Scorpio, what do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. If you want to watch extended videos, you can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel, each other's own perks. The best price would probably be from Patreon, though. Scorpio, what do you need to know about that? Scorpio, what do you need to know about that? Hmm? They wanted to come out together. I'm going to pop them there together, all right? unconventional way of doing things but with the deck and the sun so whatever goes down in this reading all right whatever goes down it's all right when the sun's there in the reading as well it's like yeah don't worry about that it's cool so seeing that i got i got a feeling if I'm going to pop this quickly in a nutshell before we dive in, i got a feeling that uh, there is an ex here. And uh, someone I think perhaps you may have, I wouldn't say forgotten about. But um, maybe you thought they'd forgotten about you. Could be the other way around. Let me know how it resonates. I feel like your focus has not been on it anyway, on the connection that you had with this person. You've kind of been trying to get on with your own life. I think that maybe you've had somebody else in your life as well. There is a little bit of a feeling of every time this person comes back into your life so you're just sort of juggling your life and you know, there's another relationship going on I just get a feeling that every time this person sort of comes back into your life it's another ball that you throw into their oh whoa, whoa, another ball oh god and then they kind of you juggle them out again somehow see that ship on the horizon there all right so let's see what the ship brings in shall we i'm gonna take my shoes off hang on my legs on my chair excuse me all right my loves let's see what do you need to know right now i get a feeling this is what you need to know right now that in reverse six of ones in the reverse you didn't really get what you wanted out of this situation in the first place. I think that's one of the reasons why you kind of let this person in every now and then just to see what else they might bring. Is it now that you're going to give it back? Is it now? That you're finally gonna offer me a relationship or or is that am i blocked out of that oh is is that you always been happy with somebody else do you offer me love and relationships and all those goalposts that i want to meet do you offer me them now do we find harmony together now do we you know tie the knot get into a real you know committed traditional relationship do we do that now Or uh, am I forever blocked from that with you? That's what you're saying to them. I don't think you're going to get what you want. Just looking at the rest of the cards and the vibe I'm getting. And we had the, um, the sun on the bottom of the deck there. Whatever goes down here, it's all right and it's for the best. Just looking at the outcome. All right, let's get to it. All right, let's get to it. 
I think that this person comes back into your life because you scratch an itch for them. In a way, they feel like they can communicate with you. Pages, it's, it's, it's a nice communication for them. They feel like... Uh, That's interesting. I just got the uh, lyrics to a song. We move as one instinctively. That's... Uh, that I think that they feel like making love is uh, good with you. You know how they like it. I'll keep it clean. Apart from that. <laughs> Page of Wands. Tell me more about the Page of Wands. But, let me ice. X is returning, or it's never good news. In, uh, for, for me as a reader, whenever I see it, it's just like. Yeah. You know, like, why you split up before? That's always going to be there. The reason it didn't work out the first time, yeah, it's it's still a problem. That particular problem, you may have moved on from it, but the problem, you'll have a whole new set of problems that's the same as that problem, basically. What's coming up in the near future? This, It's like um, they like relationships intimacy all of those things to be on their terms it's mine my terms we do it my way we don't do it my way then i'm ghosting you you want to ask what page we're on bye you want to ask me uh, how exclusive we are bye i'll be not communicating with you that's that's what you get with this person you're never going to know what page you're on with them with the the hangman in reverse it's like you're always just gonna be waiting so this is why these two cards came out together this is down to you now are you in your queen of swords energy where you're like finally Setting your boundaries and saying, no, no, mate, I've done my bad luck cycle. I've done my dodgy cycles where I'm unhappy and I'm going through crap with somebody. Crap I don't deserve. I'm done with that. I'm going to cut out the things that are no good for me. Anyone else see an orb then? I like totally saw that. <laughs> it was like few seconds ago eight minutes in something like that are you in that energy where you're like and oh, no, i'm done with this looks like you might be tell me more yeah you're done this is good this is good I think at some point in the near future, you're going to give yourself a jolly good talking to and it's about time, you know, you straighten yourself up, mm -hmm. give yourself a dusting down, a, a really jolly good kick in the butt. Say to yourself, is, is this, is this what you want again? Do you want to, do you want to repeat this pattern again? Just to uh, get your butt handed to you one more time? Or are we going to drop this? We're going to let this go. You're going to let this person breadcrumb and breadcrumb and breadcrumb and break. Oh, oh, they're gone. Is that what you're going to let happen? Okay, so we've got the outcome here. This might be, and I was kind of get into it earlier this might be someone who you sort of will always kind of feel like you never really got the answers you needed you never really got 
And let's just say, you know, that one that got away. It's there's just going to be a little bit of that. Tell me more about this. I'm going to ask in the extended about this person. How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? Let's have a look at this outcome. I've got to say this, we've all got that one that got away. I've actually spoken to uh, the person who I thought was mine today via email. And we've all got them. And I have to say, I no longer think that that person's my one that got away. I kind of stopped about, about eight years ago, seven years ago. Yeah, about seven years ago, that, that all stopped. Having a conversation with him and realizing that he's not the one that got away because he really did have none of the good things <laughs> that I projected onto him. He was, uh, at the time, he's a, he's a wonderful man now and a good friend, but at the time he was a complete loser. And uh, he's, he's earned himself back into my friendship, but never back into my heart space in that way. There comes a point where you, you'll you'll talk to that one that got away in the future when you're a bit older and a bit wiser and go, <laughs> that was a waste of time. <laughs> you will. Your heart won't ache forever. There will be a little candle burning in your heart forever, and there isn't for me. I've you know I'm I'm able to be friends with him and and. Uh, even have uh, affectionate, friendly conversations with him that are nothing to do with romance. He, uh, he sent me an email this morning that started with my darling Jen. I don't think anyone's ever called me that. And it was nice. But I didn't feel that giddy gooey sort of Thing that I would had he still been the one that got away. So your outcome. We'll get to that. Your outcome. One who's always going to be a little bit on your mind, a little candle burning for that person. I don't think you're going to obsess about it, though. Were it this way around, I think the, the, it would be something that would always be on your mind and obsessing about it. But I think that you're going to have the strength to cut it out, let it go, um, knowing that it doesn't serve you. This is what bothers me. It's that feeling of the, it's nostalgia, it's the good old days. A connection with someone who you feel is tender and sweet. And maybe they've still got something to offer you. I don't think that they do. I really don't think that they have anything to offer you. Tell me a little bit more about this. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is the problem with them. The Two of Swords. This is about. Uh, confusion, not being able to make a decision. I I sort of feel all right. Let's put it. Let's uh, make up a scenario here. Imagine that you got everything that you wanted with this person. You managed to be in a relationship with them. You you got married or something. Bought a house together. Got pets. Had kids. 
all the works, they're never really going to truly be yours. Because there's always going to be something on their mind about what else is there. I want something else. I want what's next. What can I have next? What's next? What's coming up next? Now that I've got everything that I wanted, what's next? They're always going to be wanting something else. So you're never really going to have their heart the way that you wish. There's always going to be somebody else. You're never really going to be able to pin them down. That wasn't the bottom of the deck before, but it is now. Because they're always going to be kind of... Seeing someone else on the slide behind your back, seeing what they can get away with. Definitely relevant. I don't know. I don't know. Work through your fears. I've got two decks that are exactly the same. One looks just a little bit older, so I have to like look at them each time and go, which oh, it's this one. <laughs> Your song lyric for the day. Am I good enough for you? I'm like literally holding on here like that almost got me that almost uh... I'm gonna end this video before I start bawling am I good enough for you love you to death by typo negative you don't ever want to be asking yourself that okay you are absolutely good enough and this person is always going to make you wonder thank you for joining me see you later